Welcome back, everybody. We're joined once again with Becca Lawrence from the Lloyd Minster Community SPCA for this week's edition of Pet Project. Becca, how's everything going over at the SPCA this week? Good. A little hectic, like always, but good. <laughs> yeah, I heard. So you guys got lots going on over there right now. Really busy this week. But uh, let's get started with our animals we want to showcase this week because they're so adorable yeah. and they're, they're so full of energy. We don't know if we'll get them to sit still long enough. So let's, yeah. let's see what we can get here. Yeah, for sure. So these two are Buffy and Blair. Uh, we had three come in all together, but the one she has a special owner, so it was Buffy, Blair, and uh, Sabrina. Oh, they're gone again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they were our three little witches here. But uh, yeah, so they were just found in the middle of a road, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, so now they they are here. And oh, goodness, goodness sakes. <laughs> <laughs> they are so excited. And, <laughs> lots going on and uh so they actually will be getting their second vaccine here right away and then they go for their spay neuters and then they'll go up for adoption perfect so that's amazing so if anybody out there has you know been maybe waiting on an adoption because you wanted to get a puppy for the kids or something like that you know this is a great opportunity because uh obviously adult animals are more common and you know whenever you can get an opportunity to get a dog you know as a puppy that's great i can hear him in the background yeah. playing it's so adorable yeah. oh my goodness wonderful okay and becca we had something else we wanted to chat about this week which is the big influx of kittens that you guys have had so not only do we got puppies but we got kitties as well and you guys got a lot of them so why don't you just yes. let everybody in on the loop what's been going on there with that yeah so i mean kittens have been fairly consistent this year just one after the other coming in and uh so yeah that we've just been flying through our kitten dry and wet food so we we are actually we're quite dwindling on our wet food and we've had actually a lot donated so we do really appreciate it we're just flying through it <laughs> so we are in need of some of that as well and even some cat toys too uh, we're we're just going through them quite quickly as well and uh, yeah, and you know, puppy food, you know, we're doing pretty good on wet food. We can still use more of, of course, but, uh, but yeah, our, our kittens just, they're not slowing down and it doesn't seem like there's a, a slowdown in sight. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're just in, in need of some more of that. Which is understandable, you know, with the big influx of animals you guys have had this summer, you know, you go through a lot of animal food. That's completely understandable yes. for an SPCA. So obviously anybody out there, if you're walking by, you see some kitty food on sale, wet or dry, whatever you need, maybe grab a little extra for the SPCA. I know I was speaking with somebody last week, Becca, who did tell me that they went and picked up cat food because they heard me mention it on air. So there's yeah. proof at least one person <laughs> has listened to us before. So anybody out there, if you're looking for the good deed this week, that would be uh, you know, a great one. And also we were speaking, Becca, but uh, it's always nice to have toys around for the kittens because they go through them lots, right? And, and yes. you guys are a little bit <laughs> short right now as far as cat toys goes. Yes, no, we just seem to fly through them, you know, and some of them, you know, if they have a favorite toy, we love to send it with them as well to their new home. Um, so yeah, you know, like I said, we, we tend to go through them pretty quick, but uh, you know, some of, the, some of the cats are a little rougher than others with their toys too. So <laughs> we always fly through them as well. Yeah, which is understandable. And you guys have lots of fosters and I know you like to send them with toys and things yes. like that. So that's another one where, you know what? I buy a new toy for my cat almost every time I, I go through the grocery store or the pet store because they're usually a couple of bucks and it, it entertains them, you know, for at least yes. a little bit. So we're almost out of time here, but my goodness, such adorable dogs. If anybody wants to stop by and say hi and, and, and maybe play with them a little bit because they have a lot of energy, looks like they want to burn off, then yes, uh, certainly, rambunctious. definitely get in touch with Becca. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week, Becca. I want to thank you. I want to thank Blair and Buffy for stopping by and saying hi. Yes. So anybody at, at home wants to get to know them a little better, certainly stop by, make an appointment. But yeah, that's, that's it for this week, Becca. But I want to thank you. And uh, we'll speak with you guys again next week. Yes, for sure. We'll see you next week. Manage your waste and recyclables with Quick Pick Waste Disposal. 100% locally owned and proud to serve and support the communities we call home. Quick Pick, the convenient solution to avoid pollution.